as you gentlemen know, and, and the two of you who were at our, our uh, candidates' night last week, um, there is a, a very strong need for a low-cost spay-neuter clinic in our area. Um, as many of the members of the coalition attested to, we are in dire need of that because um, we are looking at controlling the population of homeless cats and dogs in the area. I know for a fact, too, that being very limited as to the number of vets in the county who will do low-cost spay neuters, this holds up rescue from our pound as well. So. Um, the, the need is there. I think we have hammered that home a number of times. Um, it, during the candidates' night uh, proceedings, though, it, it was brought to all of our attention, although, although we really didn't, we were aware of it, the budget shortfall that the, that the county is facing. We are not insensitive to that, um, and, and we want you to know that, and that's why I said the other night, um, with or without um, financial contribution from the county, we want to move forward um, because it is important that this gets done. Um, this has been in the works now for about a year, a year ago in August, we got together, formed the nonprofit that, that will be taking the lead on this, on this clinic, and recently received our 501c3 um, in May. So, what we are waiting on is a, is a yes or no on a lease agreement for that building. And like I said, the, the financial details are something that in the interest of moving forward, we are very much willing to say, look, whatever it takes. Paper of it. I, I uh, uh, felt bad about County of Santa the other night over there because I just lost my dog over there uh, not too long ago. It's kind of hard. but. Um, you know, I, as long as we, as our legal counsel, which is the prosecutor, says, you can go ahead and do it, I'm totally behind it and supportive of it. Um, I'm still waiting for an answer. In fact, I just called the prosecutor before our meeting, but uh, they weren't in uh, at that time. Left a message and call me. But I, you know, I'm totally, t totally for it, uh, and I would be more than happy to put my name on the, on the lease if, if. It, within our legal uh, rights, that's for sure. And I promise you that that is the way I feel. And, and the lease portion of it is totally separate from the actual funding of this. And um, as I had stated, uh, I equally share that. We just have to make sure that legally we can go forward. And uh, Todd, did, did you have something that gives us that credibility that we can do yeah, something there was a, well, there was already an opinion issue, and uh, I think we could go ahead and approve the lease, uh, given that the prosecutor approves it. Yeah.